Hey, what is up, guys? This is Cobb, and today we have a replay submitted by Mr. Raitu, aka Blue, aka Mr. Maxman Specialist. And he's starting off with a bunch of sledgies, a bunch of crawlers, and spends his starting supply on two additional Maxmen, which normally I think is just a little bit sketchy, but in this case, um, yeah, it's actually just going to work out really, really good. He's going up against Red's Phoenixes, takes care of, I think there was a couple of Acolytes in the middle as well. And so, you know what? The early Maxman doing just fine. It's kind of interesting, man. I feel like Maxman never, ever show up in higher MMR games. We've got to skip this straight away. A crap load more sledgies. Red is actually just invested in both attack and defense enhancement, as well as more Acolytes and intelligent Acolyte. And so it looks like we are barreling towards something of a Maxman versus Acolyte showdown. I wonder how much these sledgies are actually going to be upgraded. I feel like they do really, really well into Aki's early on, but man, do they get outskilled as the game goes on. So I'd be quite intrigued to see how this goes down. Okay, that's actually two missiles from Red as well. So these nerds are not long for this world. And these guys are going to get stuck hitting a barrier for a long, long time. What they really need is the level 3 maxman to aggro over here, which it actually does. So it snipes this nerd. Ah, but it's not quite going to kill the barrier though. Okay, I thought it was going to crack the barrier. I feel like, honestly, the biggest win for blue right now would just be killing the barrier. Um, even if it means losing the round horribly, but... Turns out that it's worst of both worlds. Lose the round and don't kill the barrier. I mean, it's going to heal way back up to full. We've got some tight options here. Amplifying call, really, really good on Sledgies early on. If that's something right who wants to opt into, it goes for the charged ammo instead. Plus range on the Akis. Oh my goodness, even more Sledgies, dude. We just got a fat old line going here. And blue matches in tech enhancement and defense enhancement that have already come out from red. Let's speed things along. Everyone dumping their supply here so quickly, man. These deployment rounds are passing by quickly. I mean, I don't not like it. It's pretty good. The range on this guy is actually going to make this Maxman not get to shoot at the barrier this time. So it's all up to the sledges to take care of this. I think I would have liked to have seen like some vertical position fangs here and here. Just to protect this sledgehammer line from uh, sentry missile attacks coming in again. Just a nice little simple thing you can do is just vertical formation chaff. Um, makes it so it's basically impossible to land missiles against your, uh, like, the real core of your army. But hey, it's not necessary in this occasion. Wasp Swarm? Wasp Swarm isn't bad. I mean, Wasp Swarm's never bad, to be honest. Photon Emission coming out from Red, was that? I'm almost more surprised to not see Photon Emission come out for Blue, to be honest, but... Okay, here we go, man. Mass Recruit and Elite Recruit. On the Maxis, dude. Okay. Let's speed this up a little, dude. And, oh, I didn't even notice this, but the charged ammo? Actually on the Maxman? And you know what? There is no um, Electromag shots on these Maxis, man. So that kind of makes some sense. But look, look, look. See, this is where having, like, a vertical unit of crawlers. Um, another vertical unit, like, here. And maybe, like, one here. Makes it so, so hard. For your opponent to connect with missiles like that. You just need like one vertical unit for every two units that you're looking to protect. And it stops all these gnarly, gnarly connections from happening. Oh wow. Okay, tunneling crawlers. I think this is going to be a bit too much chaff to deal with. I mean the wasps are doing what they can, but they're finally going to start to get planked down here. The maximum does two exposed, too much chaff left alive. No sledgehammers to deal with them. So Red having a good old time. Vulcan's Descent. Skip. Yeah, I think a skip here is fine for Blue, to be honest. It's already very, very heavily committed to the Maxman. I'd actually like to see, I was about to say, a quick reload come out for four. Range Enhancement here, because there's a lot of chaff um, on the field from Red. And so I do sort of feel like just going straight into quick reload. Um... And just squeezing more and more and more value out of these maxman, this maxman spam, this maxman army. <laughs> uh, it's probably in Blue's best interests. Hey man, I'm disappointed in though you mind right to. Where's the salt maxman, dude? What's all, what's all this aerial specialization action? Come on, man. You're better than that, man. You're better than that. 
Just kidding. Not really. Anyways, yeah, the quick reload here is actually just going to absolutely mulch the uh, fangs in pretty short order, just because of the sheer amount of maxmen. But look at this, though. They're still getting absolutely globaled here at the back. And they don't actually get to win the sniper battle against the phoenixes, and rather tanky at this point. Akis, which are getting a lot of levels. And so the chaff problem is well and truly taken care of. Lightning storm. Okay. Think I like that. Wow. Straight into assault marksman. Right to you, absolute madman. Oh, yo, 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 dude. Okay, man. Well, we go into the lightning storm, I guess, because you're really, really worried about just losing the game in this round um, and actually just being defeated. Especially if uh, red goes lightning storm and you don't. That's like a huge problem, you know? So I think I can actually respect this pickup here quite a bit. It's also going to be really, really good against his phoenixes too, which obviously he can't protect at all. Uh, from the Lightning Storm. I almost feel like the game is lacking, by the way. Um, Like, Battlefield spells that only affect ground units and don't really touch air units. It's like, is there just, like, incendiary? Like, you place the fire on the ground and, like, is that, like, the only one? I kind of want some more effects that, um... Yeah, that your air units are a bit more immune to, you know? Because it feels like new, like, all the big ones... Just kind of wreck your army if you're going like a heavy uh, aircraft army. If your opponent wants to just win around against you, they can just pick lightning storm or nuke or like or like any of the <laughs> any of the pa uh, powerful battlefield abilities and kind of slap you across the face. But hey, the Barry is actually proving to be the winner in this round. Orbital javelin is probably good. There's probably a spot where you can land a really clean one. Oh, not really, you know. Like, he is not bad. You want to hit multiple units, right? I wonder if you would have placed it, like, here. If you'd hit the phoenixes as well. But okay, there's oil and fire coming out here. We do actually see Mechanical Rage come out on the sledges. Which is pretty sweet, I think. We've got for plus range now on the maximum as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so we have nine maximum currently. Not bad, man. Not a bad effort. It's a good start. We can do better than that, man. We can do better. Okay, so the fire he's gonna connect. Missiles aren't quite taking care of the tanks anymore. Big lack of chaff on this side. The crawler's gonna run into their death here. Ooh, lack of chaff everywhere, really. The fire actually making pretty short work here. It's just a matter of hoping that the maximum kill enough stuff. Ooh, you know what? They may win on this side. Again, because of the barriers. Oh my god, they actually kind of do it. They're actually quite close, dude. So they charge shot on this guy, nerfing this thing's range. Actually wins the fight on the end over here. Which is sort of massive. Top supply specialist. It's a bit late for that, right? Yeah, I think the shield airdrop here is totally fine. Or just a skip, like one of the two. Uh, top supply. Everyone's just a little bit too unhealthy in this game to really make that work. Um, here, I'd like to see just upgrades, probably range enhancement. Honestly, maybe even starting to sell some units. Actually, no, the chaff is mostly good. We actually have more crawlers on this side than this side, which is a little bit curious. Okay, nice. More maxmen come out. Very good. Barriers, barriers, very important. Okay, okay. And look at this, man. Red is just doubling down on the crawlers, which is pretty smart of him. I think he should place them all the way up at the back. Like, as far back as they can possibly be, I think would actually be in Red's best interest. He needs them to arrive after the sledgehammers are almost dead. Um... Is what red needs to happen here. Also, I feel like red should def should definitely be sparing some supply to click enhanced range here. I mean, he's up against Maxman with Elite Maxman. I feel like if Raitu went into enhanced range here, he's suddenly in an extremely horrible spot with these Acolytes. Yeah, and his crawlers are just quite far forwards, man. And as such, the Sledges get to tunnel into them really quite a bit and take out a lot of these nerds before they really make it in. Some of them making it in over here, though. 
This side, though, is a little bit of a different story. A bit more one-sided over here. But okay. Oh my god, this revive up on the phoenixes. I didn't even notice that. Oy, 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 dude. Okay, okay. It's getting tickly now, dude. It's getting wiggly. It's getting zingly. Speed special. I think all these are honestly negligible at this point. I think all, I, I think this is a skip, personally. Right, who agrees? We get some upgrades all up in here. Gotta go for range at this point, surely. Sweet. Oh my god, everything happened all at once. Okay, range, aerial special. More maxmen. What are we looking at here? One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, mm, 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 mm. Twelve maxmen at this stage. Dude, this is nutty. Okay, we actually borrowed money that round as well. But see, look, we still don't take care of these missiles, man. Oh my god. I I love your um dedication to the memes, dude. It reminds me of myself. It brings a tear to my eye. But at the same time, the difference that just having, like, crawlers here, vertical pattern, crawlers here, even just those two would honestly make such a huge difference. But oi oi oi. Oh, actually, no. I think here... Here and here would be like least supply spent, but most impact. But okay, man, let's just see how this goes, dude. These oh my god. Oh my god, dude. What melting point? Gone. Okay. Phoenixes are getting to connect quite quickly on the sledges. But everything is dead over here already. And these guys have anti-air now. And so they're absolutely slaughtering these phoenixes, dude. Dude, I gotta shit the hell. I don't know what I'm talking about, man. I actually like rag on. Uh, anti-air quite a bit on Maxman. I feel like it's just pointless. Dude, even with the building dead. Even with the building dead, dude, they don't give a shit. <laughs> they don't care, dude. Oh, man, the best part, you don't actually win yet either. You don't actually win yet. Okay, when you got like four upgrades on Maxman, you just gotta dump more, right? Oh, my God. Yes. This has gotta be four more Maxman, yeah? It's gotta be. It's gotta be. Look at all these upgrades, bro. <laughs> it's just a Mexican wave of maximum upgrades, bro. <laughs> okay, okay, yep, smart. Now you know what you gotta do, man. You know what you gotta do. The cost is perfect. That's what I'm talking about, man. That's what I'm talking about, dude. That is proof of a big dick right there, man. <laughs> oh my god, okay, dude. All right. But uh, yeah, like genuinely though, when you've got like four upgrades on a unit like this, one of the best things you can do to just win the game, just to win more strat, is just spam more of that unit. Even if your opponent starts building counters at this point, they're so strong and so powerful that it almost doesn't matter. Like once you've got four upgrades on a unit, just mash them. It's why like mass-produced uh, fortress is so strong. It's why I'm um, spamming melting points if you get the right tech upgrades is so strong. It's like, if you're getting a unit at a discount, in particular, like a giant unit, and it's got like two uh, two tech upgrades, you can just spam that unit, and most of the time be just fine. And I think to a lesser extent, yeah, it works with these smaller units as well. Okay, like genuinely, what does Red actually do against this? What does he actually do? Like, he had to start reacting to this a thousand years ago, and now watch this melting point, dude. Oh. No, there's only one guy hitting it. Oh, well, it's still got absolutely annihilated. I don't know what I'm whinging about. Oh my god, dude. I can't... <laughs> I couldn't even see what they were shooting at. The phoenix is absolutely eviscerated. Oh my god, they're all gone. Chunked. Shredded. Oh, building goes down. Wait a minute, you can have more time. <gasps> no, you don't lose. You don't lose this. Oh. Oh. Okay, dude, you need more Maxman. You need more Maxman, dude. It's gotta be done. Dude, this is gonna be some kind of a record, man. If you just dump more Maxman here, I'll be so, I'll be so, I'll be so proud. I'll be so impressed, man. Because, like, we're in a position here where we can easily lose this game, right? But, but I mean, you've gotta to prove to everyone and yourself. That you are that guy, dude. Barriers everywhere. Sticky oil coming down. Cool, yep. Not bad placement. Obviously he's gonna barrier against it, but... 
Can't really predict that. More barriers, dude. Okay. Maxman. Do it. Range on the tanks? No! Okay, actually more do come down. <laughs> alright, dude. Alright, alright. So it's not a billion like last time. You can borrow money, though. You can actually borrow cash here with a rapid resupply. I mean, you might as well, right? You might as well. This game's ending here no matter what. No, you didn't push the button. No! No, dude. That was another maxman there, man. All right, all right, all right. Still, pretty impressive feat. Now, I can't see anything that's going on in this battle, so let's turn the camera around this way. So we're not just looking at thunderstorms. Look at this line, dude. Okay, this looks so... Oh, my God. Dude, it's like your, your backline held 10 times better than his. That wasn't close at all, dude. Did he just underinvest in barriers? I've got to be honest, I wasn't even looking at what he was doing on that final round, but bruh. Bruh. <laughs> this looks so cool, dude. Oh my god. Hey, thanks for submitting this replay, man, right too. I love that you ended on 48 health as well. Just like no health, holding on by the skin of your teeth, and you're just trusted in the memes. And the memes saw you through, dude. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope y'all did enjoy this one. And I'll catch you all of y'all's time later, man. What a game, dude.